Yeah, okay, back out here again. <coughs> and it's raining again like it was last time. Last time we had the pipe, we had this pipe rub out on the dryer which we sorted. Let's check it on the floor. Anyway, apparently it's not working. So we'll see what it does. Basically, I don't know if I can get this to work, we have got connection to ground there, it's going up the neutral, and we've got live on there, so it's off on the switch. And I've just spotted that's all oily there, so I think we've got yet another rub out because previously it rubbed out on the dryer, so now that's gone. Yes. Probably got no gas in it again. Yeah, okay, it's been drizzly rain here. I got I got soaked last time I was here. It's been dry for weeks. I got a call here and it's raining. There we go. Just bump the pressure up a bit. So that is fairly fairly obvious. So you get these cable ties cut and we'll split them and see which one it is. Hopefully that we might just oh, oh yeah. I can hear it now. Here it's now. Hopefully you might just be able to put a blob of braise over it rather than repiping it like we did with that bit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, don't know which one's better. We've got the it's not big blue but it's a similar sort of concept. So that's what we've got there. Well, you get the idea, it's just bubbling out of there. The underneath of this, um, it's worn but it's not rubbed through, so, but we'll clean it up and then we'll put a, um, we'll braise over the top of both of them. And then I might see if I can find some rubber hose that I can put on here to keep them apart. So it's, it's a bad design, really, from what it was put in. I suppose it's done a few years, I don't know what the age of this was. We might have had this discussion last time. I keep catching a fucking coat on the edge of this. It's getting very annoying. Um, 2006. So, was that 18 years old? Yeah, okay, got a new piece of pipe made up. That is the old one. Okay, I don't know what's going to show. Probably don't look too good, but that's. Lobbed some on there. Could do a heating up a bit more. And then we've done that one. That looks good. That looks good. That wasn't leaking anyway, but I think we might just put a. Heat it up just to get it to run in a bit nicer. Okay, that's all brazed up, leak checked with some nitrogen, and we've got it on vacuum, it's down to 6,000. Going up. What is that? I've just tripped over the gauge lines, maybe that's. I've disturbed something. Well, sometimes you get a bit of oil. A bit of gas bubble out of the oil. Yeah, look at that, see? It's just woke all the oil up in there.
we found this in the van. We had about a third of a bottle of Supco 88 mixed with oil. And I pulled a vacuum on the compressor and sucked it in. And uh, it's running. It took a few sort of cycles on the clicks in to get it to stay running. And then we just throttled the suction so it's not working too hard. We'll run it and see if we can get some oil to come back. Basically, you saw it seize up, we sucked some oil and Succo 88 into it, um, and it's been running for a good half an hour while I've had a sandwich and been chatting on the phone. Um, I'm hoping we run it long enough, not put some more gas in it. It's set on there two kilos, so uh, well, probably got too much in there now. Thirty-five grams over. Um, a few bubbles in the side glass still. Don't want to settle down. I might have to put a bit more in it. Weather conditions might have been different when we put the gas in it last time. Anyway, I'm hoping that it running is going to um, bring the oil back that had gone. Uh, I might pump it down and then let the gas go again because that might blast a bit more through. If we can get the oil level up in the compressor, it might keep running. At least to keep it going for today because I haven't got time to change this. That is too cold coming back there. I think that expansion valve will shut it down a bit. We should probably fill the side glass up as well. I think if we do the compressor, we'll put a new valve on it. It's still on the old 404 valve. It's probably a bit, um, it's too big. The orifice will be too big. Plus, it, plus it's not going to work right. 100%. Anyway, it's running. It's running, that's something. Yeah, that valve seems to settle down a bit. I did dump 800 grams in there fairly quickly. So it might take a while for that valve to react. But that's shut down a bit now. I don't remember last time we spent a while tweaking it. Um, I'm pumping it down now. I'm going to pump it down. I'm going to check the capacitors on it. Because it was a bit weak starting. I'm not still 100% it's going to keep going. So I'm going to check the capacitors on there, make sure they're good. And then we'll start and stop it a few times. And see how it goes. Because um, I haven't got time to change that. I mean, I'd do it if I had to, but I ain't got time to, time, time to change it for the next fucking three months, probably, at the moment. Um, yeah. So, fingers crossed, it keeps running. That all looks like it's seen better days. There seems to be a green crap on the top of that. Um, Start cap. Every time I come here, it freaking rains and it keeps stopping and starting. And it's it's that sort of tiny little raindrops that you don't think it get you know do a lot, but they, they get soaked. Uh, that does look that looks very crusty. Doesn't all oh, that isn't good. That's not good at all. So we'll check that. And then we'll check this. That's a 35 run cap. And then this one is a 100. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, the top of that's horrible. It's blown the little plug out. The vent plug. And that's a 100 plus 20, so it could be a 120. And the smallest I've got, well, no, it's not. Nearest I've got is a 130, 108 to 130. So I'm not going to worry over 10 microfarads. 
Okay, that's reading 114, which is in the ballpark, because that would be 120 max. And then this was reading 20, but I haven't got a very good connection. It doesn't matter, it's tough. It's not reading right. But it was reading 20 something. Um, yeah, and that one checks out fine, the 35, it's still reading good. So we'll put that on and hopefully she'll start up. She'll have the clamp meter on it really, but I've only just thought of that, so anyway. Will she work? Champ. I think we might have got away with that. I think that would have struggled before we changed that cap. And the issue before was it, it wouldn't it wasn't that it wouldn't start, it would start and run and then it would bog down and, and go off in the fixin. Right, I need to find something to cable tie that pipe up, a bit of rubber or something to put between the two and cable tie them together so they can't rub. Anti-rub rubber piece. Um, I'll shut the door in the cold room now so it can cool the room down. We'll leave what you know, shut off, and then we can see it turn back on itself normally. We put our two kilos in there. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully that'll be good. And then we've got another one to look at. We've got the uh, same same sort of cold room again, but it's a trailer. Trailer body, I think. I've not seen that one before, so I don't know. Right. Dodged a bullet there, I think. Or maybe it was a flesh wound. Maybe that's what it was. And it's still sweating back a bit too much. Let's see if that valve settles down. I think I said last time it should have a new valve on it. Okay, we tweak that valve back a bit. Full side glass. I think we had some fun last time adjusting that valve. But I don't think the 404 valves work well with 449A. I think we put a smaller orifice in it as well. But anyway. It's working better than it was this morning, so that was. I might leave it running, and go off and do the other job and then call back in and see what it's doing as the day's getting on. Uh, okay, time's flying by. That is chowing away there. I might, I don't know, I might, might do something with that cable tie, tape it together or something. Otherwise we'll have a rub out on that one next, next, you know, summer. So if they'd run this down the wall with clips, you could have clipped it all the way down the wall there, Clipped it across the back here. It had been held solid at that end. Um, and that wouldn't be able to move to get a vibration in it then because it'd be tightly clamped to the wall. Anyway. Well, I'd assume it's going to go off at two degrees. I think that's the compressor symbol. Fan, light. I think these buttons stopped working last time we were here because when they phoned I was expecting it to be this controller that had eventually died all the casings broken I think that's why it's held together with tape uh, where the screws go in they don't bite into anything but that, that might be the ammonia fumes from dead things uh, it can attack certain types of plastic and uh, make it go brittle uh, maybe it's 1.5 or it might even be 1 degree I want to see it turn off and then ideally see it come back on again. It's overdue a service by the look of things. Like a few years. Mind you, last few years it's broke down, hasn't it? So. <laughs> well, it's 
getting boring. Right, that's just gone off at 0.2 degrees, so it might be 0.2 to plus 2.2. So this should be pumping down. Let's pump down. So let's go and open the door. And let some heat in here and find the sensor, which is probably there. We'll warm that up. It should be warm. Cooling's come back on, so there's no delay. Sounds like that's running. Yeah, that's running. So, started and stopped okay, and we've turned it off a few times, so... Fingers crossed it keeps going.